Welcome to my studio. My name is Astrid Reeves and I'm so glad you're here watching me uh, create my next painting. So if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe down below and feel free to leave any comments as well. So today is very exciting. I am going to do something new and different that I've never done before. And it actually begins with this panel. It's a wood panel. And I'm gonna show to this camera down here that uh, I'm gonna tilt it. So hopefully you can see the texture on this panel. So <laughs> let me explain what happened here. So yes, well, you know, you find advice in different places and I was having trouble gessoing my panels and not getting those brush marks on there. So on Instagram, I saw this great uh, site and she recommended to use a roller, like a natural paint roller. You know, just a regular foam roller that you, you, you can get at Home Depot and you use it for fine, uh, smooth painting like cabinet doors and things like that, right? So anyway, so that's what I used to gesso my panel and I got some unexpected texture. So this definitely, this method works on canvases but not on something solid like a wooden panel. So as you could see, you know, I thought, well, that's a good, should work, right? <laughs> well, I mean, then I just got all this texture because it doesn't soak in like on a canvas, it just sits right on top. So it just pulled up as the roller went over it. So anyway, so I thought, well, maybe I could do something cool with that. So I thought, you know, when life hands you lemons, make lemonade. <laughs> And you never know, like happy little accidents, right? So could be the start of something new. <laughs> so let's try it out, okay? So I've got my paints mixed. I've got uh, iridescent bright gold and I've got lime green and I'll just put them on here so you could see. Yes, you can see, good. And then this is burnt umber I love browns and greens, and this is uh, burnt sienna, or it might even be raw sienna, let me see. Nope, I was right the first time. Burnt sienna, and here is bronze, beautiful bronze, I love metallics. And here is a burnt orange that I mix with a little bit of gold, so that's gonna be pretty cool. I can't wait to see how that turns out. And the other new thing that I'm trying is, this is actually a green gold color, I have put it here, that is a watercolor. One thing I discovered in my travels across YouTube is that uh, you can actually use airbrush medium to, uh, you know, which is an acrylic medium, and mix that with watercolor. Well, I tried airbrush medium and I got this mess, it kind of curdled. Whoops. Yeah, not so good. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but it says, it says you can mix airbrush media with watercolor. And I, was, I got so excited because I had all these art supplies, which I'll show you in some other video. And I thought, oh my gosh, I, there's a way that I can use all these supplies that I have. And, uh, you know, and it just didn't work. So, you know, you just gotta keep trying and uh, trying different things. And, and this looks like it's mixed and we'll see how it turns out in a painting. I'm hoping it dries uh, kind of transparent, which would be a cool effect in this painting. So here we go. Okay, so I've got everything mixed together. So now I'm gonna set them aside. And uh, oh yeah, three new things with this painting is I'm also going to do like a modified cup pour. I'm actually gonna make it up as I go. Um, I learned a couple different techniques and uh, just wasn't the look that I'm going for. So I'm gonna try something new. <laughs> yeah, and see how that turns out. <laughs> Again, maybe it'll be something new. The new rage, you never know. So I, or it could be just butt ugly, you know, whatever. But, uh, so here we go. And, oh, just kidding, four new things. I'm actually going to mix 
paint with water this time. I usually just use acrylic pouring medium, but I've been doing a lot of research and on the Golden website and the Liquitex website, uh, you can actually do a one-to-one -one, uh, paint water mixture and it's still archival and it doesn't break the bonds of the acrylic paint. So I'm gonna mix these together because I want a more liquid, I wanna preserve this texture, right? And so I don't want it to be too thick. I'm going to be putting more paint on top of the base, the white base layer. So I'm just hoping that, you know, the little points will still poke through and do something fun. So we'll see. All right. So bear with me. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to pour this in here and well, it's going to be really liquidy, but I really want the paint to move around. So here we go. Wow, that is the thinnest paint I have ever worked with. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hope that works out. Might actually add some more pouring medium just to make me happy. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to add a little bit more pouring medium. This, this is kind of scaring me. I've never done this before. So I, I like it thicker. Okay, so I'm just gonna add whew, some more pouring medium. <laughs> that was making me nervous. I, I'm just not used to that. So, so there you go, you know? Maybe on another video I'll go wild and crazy with just paint and water, but uh, not this time. <laughs> I gonna do it baby steps, you know? Oh, that's better. That's still pretty, pretty liquidy, but I feel better about the, the fact that there is more acrylic binder in there. Okay, so here we go. I'm, just, I'm going to pour this on this panel, over this panel, and is that on? Yes. And we're just going to go from there. Oh, actually, before I do that, I'm going to mix my other paints. So here we go. So I'm going to do white on the bottom. Now these are going to be thicker paints, and I'm just going to layer them. Okay, so there's white. And then I'm going to do the dark brown. Oops, I learned I have to do it down the side so that it doesn't mix. And it just kind of sits on top like that. Cool, huh? All right, and then let me do... So this paint has to be thicker, not only to hold the lines as I pour it out, but so that it doesn't mix in the cup. I'm trying to show you, but I also don't want to. There we go. Whoops, I hope that's not sinking. Well, let's go for the green. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do another layer of white. I want to separate these layers. So I don't get mud, hopefully. I know you can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> I, I, you know, <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing either. Actually, I'm going to do this watercolor next. That'll be pretty, right? So let's do that. And uh, wow, this is really, oh, and let, let's do the gold on top of that. Then I can do the orange with the gold in it. Oh, that'll be pretty. And here we go. This is the burnt orange with gold mixed in. That's going to be super cool. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. So pretty. And then I'm going to do some more white. And because I just want, let's see, actually, 
this will this color will go well too it'll probably mix so you won't tell the difference but maybe it'll add a little something something <laughs> you know oh my gosh i've lived in way too many places okay so here we go put the white and now I'm gonna do the lime green on top. Whoa, this is gonna be wild. Oh no, the white sank, oh God. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> all right, so let's go. Okay, so I'm going to start with paper towel. <laughs> paper towel, my best friend. All right, here we go. So let's let's start. Okay, I'm gonna put the white base coat on. Wow, that is really watery. Not sure that that's even gonna do that point. All right, well, I'm gonna just use this and. I used up all my pellet knives, nothing's clean. All right, let's try, let's just try scraping it gently. Oh yeah, I can still see the texture coming through. That's exciting. And I just want, maybe I could tilt it. Whoops. Yeah, okay, so that's all right. I'll just pour some more paint on. Why I have plastic on my pa on my table? <laughs> oh, good! You can still see the texture. That's what I want. I just want you know a wet layer. So that the paint that I'm gonna pour out of that cup doesn't get completely hung up and go nowhere. And then I'm like, yeah, great. <laughs> move it, I say, move it. All right. Whew. Okay. All right, cool. All right, the moment of truth. Let's see if my improvised method will yield good results. We'll see, right? You know, here we go. I'm just gonna drizzle it in a diagonal pattern across the top of like this and see what happens. Ooh, that's pretty. Wow, this is already a lot of paint. Wow, I, mean, I think I'm gonna stop there because if I pour any more paint on here, maybe I'll just put a little here. It's just gonna drip off. Well, <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> of course it is. Wow, this is so pretty. I can't tell. Which, oh, this is nice. So I get different colors the more I pour. Because this stuff is, oh, geez. Um, at the bottom, wow, okay. Well, I can always pour more out. This is really liquidy. Maybe I should just leave it like that and let it dry five weeks from now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, what, oh yeah, cause it's not, oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Wow, you know what? I'm gonna, whew, I'm gonna just call that a done cause I'm afraid I'm gonna ruin it by, uh, you know, pouring it off the sides. So I think what I'll do is I'll just maybe go like that along the sides yeah, that'll work. 
And that way I can leave. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> leave what's on here on here, you know, and and it'll be like a frame. Oh, that's pretty. I'll have to show you the sides. Yes, I know. I'm getting lots on the table, but oh, that's so pretty. <gasps> wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope I have enough in my cup to pour all the way around the side. Oh, that's so cool. And then we have kind of looks like a mocha latte or something. There we go. Maybe I can do, you know, just to kind of bring it together. Pour a little bit here. And a little bit there. Oops. Or not. <laughs> I don't know. I think we'll just have to. Yeah. Oh my god, the bronze is just gorgeous. And then this paint is gonna just keep moving and like it does. And let's see, do I have, yep. Oh, I have bare spots, oh no. Oh, that's cool, oh my gosh. Wow, that just turned out really different. I'm definitely gonna be playing with my paint thicknesses and consistencies and just kind of see, cause that base layer was pretty watery, just made it run all over. So, but it created this awesome color and pattern and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna let this dry. <laughs> I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> I'm gonna let this dry and then I will show you what it looks like. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure that you like and subscribe down below and I'll be happy to hear any comments about what you have to say about what I've done today. All right, and any questions too. Thanks for watching. Bye. Ooh, this turned out gorgeous. Look at the colors. There's the lime green. I'm gonna go in for a close up. You can see what I call the mocha latte on the edges here. And then you can see the green, the darker green is actually the watercolor mixed in with the acrylic medium. And then you can see the beautiful orange mixed with the gold and then more lime green. And then over here on the right hand side, you can see the texture from the canvas underneath the wood panel. And so you see a little, at first I was like, oh, what's that? You know, I have a million air bubbles, but no, that's actually the little points of the texture of the canvas and if you look straight down you can see those points also I'm trying to get a better shot of that it's kind of hard but they're there and yeah they you can see from the glare kind of you know at an angle on the left hand side now you can see those points when i move the camera and i love that orange swirl so pretty Oh my gosh, there you have it. So if you're new to my channel, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Thanks for watching.